Hello, I'm Matthew Wagner, and I'd like to introduce you to one of the videos that forms part of the video series that was taken from a series of podcasts that I produced a while ago, audio podcasts, which I've taken and I've converted them to a series of videos and enhanced them. So I do hope that you enjoy the video. Hi there, it's Matthew Wagner from PanicAttackRecovery.com. Welcome to another podcast episode. Today I'd like to talk about something natural that can be very helpful for anxiety, panic attacks. And what I'm actually wanting to speak about is something called chamomile. You may have heard of chamomile tea before, but it can be very uh, useful for relieving anxiety because it actually has a relaxation effect on the body. It has been said to act as a sedative without causing, you know, the sort of the usual drowsiness that you would get with, with sedatives. Chamomile is packed full of phytochemicals that can be helpful for anxiety and depression. Now, you might be wondering what phytochemicals are. Well, phytochemicals are uh, plant chemicals that actually have a protective and a disease preventative property. So what I mean by that is there are there are different things in your body that help prevent you from getting disease. Uh, phytochemicals would be one of those things that could be beneficial. Now, plants themselves produce such chemicals to protect the plant from actually getting damage sustained. Recent research actually demonstrates that uh, they can be good for humans too. You know, you've probably heard of phytochemicals in green tea and red wine and so many things, but here's a, a natural way without alcohol or caffeine or anything else that has uh, phytochemicals in it. And it's something that you can drink uh, throughout the day uh, without getting uh, typically getting side effects. We'll talk about any possible interactions in a moment though. Um, I just want to explain that chamomile is a herb. So it's in the plant family. It's actually in the same plant family, I should say, as the daisy. Now, many panic attack sufferers have actually found chamomile tea relaxing. It could be partly the process of just having a cup of tea that doesn't act as a stimulant like regular tea would. But also there are, as I said, properties of it that can be acting as a sedative. Now, I mentioned I wanted to talk about interactions. You would want to avoid drinking chamomile tea or consuming chamomile in any form if you are allergic to marigolds, ragweed, daisies, celery, or chrysanthemums. Now, in the U.S., chamomile is most commonly sold as a tea. Now, drinking one to four cups of chamomile tea daily is said to be helpful with anxiety. Also, another possible interaction I just want to mention had mentioned earlier is you wouldn't want to take chamomile with other sedative medications, blood thinners or alcohol. Also long-term daily use may possibly uh, lead to a ragweed allergy. And remember we had talked about allergies uh, just a moment ago. But uh, certainly um, you check those things out and uh, uh, if it's not a problem for you I would I would certainly suggest it as a, as a possible uh, thing to do. Uh, it's interesting to note that chamomile has been shown to be helpful actually for other ailments such as reducing inflammation. Some other benefits also are aiding digestion and sleep, helping colitis, diverticulosis, fever, headaches, and pain. So uh, you can see that there are a lot of valuable things in, uh, in chamomile tea. Uh, now I'm certainly not touting it as a cure-all for anxiety as I don't tout anything, one thing as a cure-all for anxiety panic attacks, but part of a holistic um, healthy living approach that you can take for your panic attacks. If you wanted to get started for free today, you could go over to my website. It's panicattackrecovery.com. Simply give me your email address and I'll start you on a newsletter that is providing uh, all kinds of help for panic attack uh, sufferers, anxiety sufferers, and agoraphobia sufferers. And I'll talk about natural things that you can do for anxiety, but also uh, evidence-based things that you can do for anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia as well as things that, that I know have worked for myself. I'm a former sufferer of panic attacks and agoraphobia, and also things that have worked and I've known and seen to work with, with other folks. For more information on panic attack recovery, recovery from agoraphobia and anxiety, please visit my website at panicattackrecovery.com and sign up for my free and continuous newsletter. Thank you.
material in this newsletter is provided for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for a psychologist, psychiatrist, or other health care provider's consultation. Please consult a psychologist, psychiatrist, or appropriate health care provider about the applicability of any opinions or recommendations with respect to your own panic attacks, anxiety, and agoraphobia, or any other symptom or condition.